So we're here in South Africa and we're testing the Mercedes, the Landewagen, and Decker. This is a joint project between Unicat and Frontrunner of South Africa. The Entdecker is based upon the Mercedes-Benz Galandewagen 461. This is the working class Galandewagen that's used for military applications and peacekeeping applications around the world. A couple important features about this 461. It has a fully steel bumper with a tow pin recovery point, heavy duty recovery point here, as well as additional recovery points down below. All of the lighting has got protection on it. The headlights, the corner lights, and it also has an antenna for the Iridium satellite phone. It couples solid front axle, solid rear axle. It has three differential locks, center, rear differential, and front differential, which means that all four tires will turn at the same speed. This is also a very robust platform. The axles are well over a one ton rating. The chassis is incredibly strong and stiff. And then the body attachment points not only are they strong, but they also provide low NVH, low noise, vibration, and harshness. One of the modifications that Stanley and his team did to this truck was the fitment of Hutchinson wheels. These are dual bead locks. You can actually remove these bolts, separate the wheel into two sections, and there's also a center section, and you can replace the tire. And it also allows you to run in incredibly low pressures. So it's not like a traditional bead lock, which is just the outer bead. These are both beads captured by the wheel. So you can run at incredibly low pressures. In addition to the Hutchinson wheels, they also fitted BF Goodrich mud terrain tires. Now this is the older tread pattern, but I've noticed that they've also got a lot of these vehicles upgraded to the newer KM2. They used a 235-85 R16. So it's a heavy duty light truck tire, 32 inches in diameter and about nine and a half inches wide. We don't get any rubbing while we're turning. We get good efficiency on the road and we get plenty of ground clearance for the technical terrain. So in the back of the vehicle, we've got some interesting features as well. Stanley had this custom tire cover made, not only a tire cover, but also a trash can. We've also got a smaller spade and then a heavy duty Mercedes G-Wagon swing out tire carrier. And this was also reinforced to take the weight of the Hutchinson wheel and the larger tires. Well, in the United States, we don't get the ambulance style doors. Uh, these are available on the 461 and the Puma models. So it allows a lot better access to the back. Another nice little touch, we got a magnet that holds the door in place. So then we've got two working surfaces. And these just pop up and then come into place. Do one on each side. Then we've got a custom drawer system. Heavy duty marine latches, full length slides, very strong, robust. And then he's got these really strong and lightweight alu boxes. This is probably one of the coolest products I've seen in some time. And it's called a Stratchet. It's basically a bungee cord that has some webbing attached to it. So you can get it to length, but then you got the bungee cord to kind of allow a little bit of movement if you need it. Everybody knows that I love a fridge. They've got two 50 liter National Luna units. Very good insulation and very low power consumption. But let's talk a little bit more about the goodies. So up here on the top, they've got a 10 inch LCD screen that flips down and it accesses this computer that's kept in the glove box. So this Nexcom unit, allows connection to this monitor and it also allows running of moving maps. In addition to that, we've got a simple Garmin Nuvi unit that runs tracks for Africa. We also have to have good communications. And for that, we use an ICOM unit that does both two meters and 70 centimeters. But we've also got an iPhone adapter unit that allows us to integrate with the Becker Grand Prix stereo unit. An Iridium satellite phone that's fully integrated into the vehicle. It's also got two five volt USB outlets. It's got a 12 volt 15 amp outlet. Now this truck runs both on 12 volts and on 24 volts. So it actually has two alternators. It has three batteries. Two of them are put together to make the 24 volts. And then we've got one of them at 12 volts that runs the rest of the truck. So let's talk about the four wheel drive performance of this truck. I'm sure this is something everybody wants to know about. It's got solid front and rear axles. It has three differential locks. And this vehicle has a diesel motor that puts out an enormous amount of torque. It's also got the Hutchinson bead locks, which means that we're able to lower our pressure down as low as we need to go. And the shift between high and low range can be done while the vehicle's moving. So for crossing the Sahara, we can run one bar, we can run even 800 grams if we needed to, to ascend a steep slope. Now, a lot of times people prefer a manual, and in a lot of cases I prefer a manual, but on this vehicle, the automatic seems to be perfect. So it's got a five-speed, pretty low first gear, 
We get good feedback in the steering wheel, but it doesn't jerk around on us a lot. The brakes are exceptionally strong. In fact, so strong that it actually makes it a little bit difficult to modulate them at low speeds. But on the highway, higher speed on the dirt, the brakes really inspire a lot of confidence. When you're just driving along a nice dirt road, enjoying the scenery, and in this case, enjoying the wildebeest and Impala that are running by, driver fatigue is a big deal when you're doing a long trip. So this vehicle is coil sprung. It's perfectly tuned in my opinion. It's got a smooth suspension. The seats are also very comfortable. They installed seats from a 463 G-Wagon, which in my opinion is one of the best seats ever fitted to a vehicle. So even just a regular auto home ladder wasn't good enough. So Stanley and his team had carbon fiber ladders made. These things are incredibly light and they're also very strong. Just comes together in two pieces, pops down like that. Even the rungs have a little bit of texture for them for traction. And then it simply sets and you're done, ready for the night. So another important feature of the vehicle is what's above the roof line. So it has a front runner slim line roof rack which fits a Magellina tent. So the Magellina is a little bit different than the ones that we're typically used to seeing, and this one's made out of carbon fiber. So the entire tent weighs about 80 pounds. So that greatly reduces the sense of sway when you're going down the road, going around turns, because all that weight up top. And then it's also got a nice thick mattress as well. Thick tent walls, which keep the light ingress to a minimum in the morning. It's also got some nice mosquito netting, which we're gonna need tonight. I would like to compliment Stanley Oman, Alex Beccaria, Unicat and Front Runner for building one of the most exceptional overland vehicles I've ever seen. In fact, I would go so far as to say this is the most impressive complete vehicle I've ever tested.